Now, in this lesson, I want to talk about color effects and how we can use them to make uh, our images a little bit more interesting, or perhaps even uh, drawing our attention to a specific part of an image, narrowing the focus and such, just by using color. So, what I want to do to this image, is what I like about it is the glasses, and I, I like the way the color is looking in the glasses, but I don't want to be looking at anything else. I actually just want to only the color to be into the glasses as part of my layout here. So, I'm going to go ahead into the Layers panel. I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer, and we're going to create a gradient map. And we want to make sure that we're using a black-to-white gradient. You see it pretty much just turns the image black and white. I'm going to double-click on that Layers panel to open it up. Let's bring that tab up here. And you'll notice that it is an adjustment layer, and it has a layer mask on that. So let's go ahead and grab our brush tool. Getting a relatively small brush, let's get about a 40, yeah, about a 45 there. It looks good. Making sure we're painting with black because we're going to mask away that adjustment and reveal the actual color underneath. So let's take that and let's actually turn off shape dynamics here. And I'm just going to paint back in the color in the glasses. And you can see it's already giving me a little bit more interesting image here just by making that one little color change. By removing that color and bringing it back into this part, already it's making it a little bit more interesting. So that part's done. Well, I want to make, I want to narrow the focus a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new blank layer above that one. And we're going to grab the gradient tool and using black, I'm going to start down here at the bottom. I'm going to hold down my shift key and just drag in and get a, and get a gradient down there. Let's come into the side here. Kind of no, narrows that focus a little bit more to the face. And then we'll come in from the top here. Give it a little bit, a little bit of interest there. Well, now I want to create a graphic element down here at the bottom to for perhaps a logo or just a slogan or something like that. And I'm just going to do that with some very simple shapes and a very simple color. I'm going to go over here in the, in the toolbar and grab my eyedropper tool. And I'm just going to click and sample this area of the color right in here where it's the brightest. And you see it pops up as my foreground color. Let's go ahead and create a new blank layer. I'm going to grab the rectangular marquee tool here. I'm just going to hold down the shift key and draw a square selection. So holding down that shift key constrains it. And we'll position it right there. I'm going to press Option Delete to fill it with that color. And there we have a cool little box. Well, let's duplicate this layer. And I'm going to drag it off to the right here and offset it just a little bit. And I'm going to change this layer's blend mode to overlay. Nope, screen. There we go. And now you can see it's blending in with that shape. And we're kind of keeping in with the overall color theme throughout the image here. And let's add one more. I'm going to put this one right back here, but I'm going to change something about this one. I'm going to actually give this one a blur. Let's go under our filter and go to Gaussian Blur. So it almost gives it a sense of depth in a sense, you know. So these fi these filters and blurs, you know, that you don't you don't always have to apply them to photos. You can apply them to objects to give your image a little bit more interest. Let's grab, or let's create a new blank layer. I'm going to grab that rectangular marquee tool again, and let's draw a box right across here, and that'll put that'll put that right about there. And again, filling with that same color, and we're going to set the blend mode to screen. I'm going to go ahead and create a layer mask on that, and let's take our gradient foreground to transparent with black in the front, and let's just put that across there, giving me an interesting element there. So let's, uh, I want to shift select all these, and let's push this down. So it almost has a sense of depth with these shapes and the colors as they're blending in, and it kind of keeps to the whole theme of the image. Well, let's just go ahead and add some text to kind of finish us off, and we'll just call this style. We'll give it a nice, big, bold, stylish font there. We'll use this Zapfino right here. And we'll press Command and Control T, and we'll scale this down and position it right about here. And I'm just going to fill it with white. I'm going to press Command Delete, and there we have the graphic all in position. So you see what we've done is we've taken this very basic photograph and an option click right on this eye, and we'll see what we started with. So just a few steps, you can go from creating or liking a specific part of this image, like we did in the glasses here, isolating that out, then narrowing the focus a little bit more, and then adding these few elements. And, in, and this, this pretty much is a random order, but you know we're still keeping into a, a, a pleasing composition here. And a final text element, 
And we got to add the obligatory drop shadow. And there we have an interesting layout in just a few simple steps. So you can see this is a very simple layout, but what I want you to take away from this is when you look at an image or look at a photograph, pay attention to the separate parts or the individual parts and see what might play a role in the design aspect that you're going to be working on as far as colors or shapes and things like that and see how that plays into your design just as it did here.